All right, now there was also Jury Street Metro Station, which I thought I had explored before, but maybe not, because I heard tell that there's something going on in here, and it didn't sound like anything I remembered, so let's go check it out. Workbench here. And a bunch of beds. Looks like Raider graffiti. On mower blade. But where are all the raiders? the raider. I guess I already killed them? So I guess I've already been in here at least once before. Open door to Jury Street Tunnels. Oh, I see a red dot and a blue dot. Brig has a bandana. I don't think I've seen that before. Have I? Ryan Briggs safe key, tinted reading glasses, and a wasteland surgeon outfit. What the heck is he doing in here? He's got mole rats. Mole rat meat. And he's got mole rats in cages. Oh, this one's dead. This one's still- oh, this one has a name! Pumpkin! Oh, can we free Pumpkin? Pumpkin, come on, you should be able to squeeze through these bars! And there's a Nuka-Cola Quantum. Ryan Briggs Terminal. Let's check it out. Ryan Briggs Journal. Recent journal entries. Archived journal entries. Uh, let's start with the archived entries. Memory corruption detected. Refer to user manual. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll go to the recent ones then. Attempt number 173. I've finally done it. Who would have thought that the simple combination of mole rat meat and wonder glue would have been the answer? Curing the mixture together in a metal box produces a sort of jerky that is very pleasant to the palate, chewy with a nutty taste. The usual toughness and bitter flavor of mole rat is completely undetectable. Further, I find that the meat has restorative properties. A man who eats a meal of this concoction will find himself feeling positively buoyant and anxious to move about. I'll be able to charge even more for it than I was originally planning. The only thing left to do is set up shop in one of the towns on the surface. None too soon. These filthy raiders have been my bane, and after these long months, I'm as destitute as the worst of them. Odd. That's the alarm. Begin mem wipe. User initiated memory protocol. Beginning storage clear oldest archives. Ah, so he heard me coming? And decided to wipe his computer memory. Well, dude, we could have been friends. You didn't have to shoot first and ask questions later. Because now you're not even going to be able to ask questions. 
All right, he's got Wonder Glue, a Nuka Cola, and some empties. Bunch of mole rat, mole rat wonder meat. Oh. Okay, how's that different from regular mole rat meat? Mole rat meat, mole rat meat. I don't think I want to eat wonder glue. I'm just saying. And blood packs. Got a lot of blood packs here. Alright, I'll take this mole rat meat. Okay. And what is this thing? The Wonder Meat Maker. Oh my gosh. Would you like to make Wonder Meat? One mole rat meat, one Wonder Glue. Yes, you have created some Wonder Meat. Mole rat Wonder Meat added. Well, let's see what mole rat Wonder Meat does. That's regular mole rat meat. Gives five health points. Morat Wonder Meat. Ooh, gives 20 health points. Okay. <laughs> sure, let's make some more Wonder Meat. We'll make as much as we can. How many did we get? 11 of them. Well, we picked up, I think we picked up three, so we made eight. Awesome. All right, let's see what else this loser had in here. Be aware of the present moment. He's got a line congressional style book. And we opened his safe. Ball caps, energy cells, free war money. Eh, not much. Alright. Cool. Wish I could let Pumpkin out of there. Pumpkin should be able to squeeze through those bars. Come on, Pumpkin. I believe in you. Raiders. Oh. And now I'm alive. Oh, and some more dead mole rats. Oh, we may see. Safe for the moment. It is fleeting. traps all activated oh, the mole rat more mole rats huh Skeleton. And more mole rats. And a terminal. Oh, Ryan Briggs terminal. I thought we already looked at his terminal. Will this have the same thing that the other terminal had? Or will it have the files he tried to destroy? Aha! Yeah, it's got all of his log entries. Nice. Let's check it out. Log entry 173. Alright, this is the one we already read. About how he wants to set up shop. Yeah, okay. Let's read the previous log entries. I'm going to start with the archived entries. 
Attempt number 87. The mole rats are starting to get more aggressive. I think we will have to push back our checkpoints a bit to make up for it. I wonder if my experiments with isoprene have somehow triggered their sudden increase in aggression. I wouldn't be so worried about it if I had something to show for it. There's got to be some way to make this meat taste better. Chucky won't shut up about the one he kept as a pet being eaten by the others. I think I'll shoot him. That sort of thing seems to impress these raider types. Log entry number 86. Attempt number 86. I introduced a small component of isoprene. Didn't seem to make a difference in taste or composition. I'm not hopeful, but in the next round I'll increase the concentration. If only because the damn stuff is so plentiful. Yeah, this is the one we just read under the archived. Huh, it's weird how there's like... Log entry 87 is in the archived entries as well. That's sort of weird. Alright, log entry 171. I've noticed positive reactions with base dextrin substances. I'll continue testing different forms to see where it leads me. If there was ever a time for a breakthrough, it would be right now. Masquerading as one of these foul murderers grows tiring once the theatrics of it wear off. One thing is true, though. We can all be rich if the experiment succeeds. Mole rat is one of the easiest meats to get a hold of, yet the most disgusting. If I can turn it into a viable food source... Attempt number 172, quite close now. I'm fairly certain the key ingredient is some form of thermostarch. My next attempt will be using Wonder Glue. The adhesive component contains a great deal of the stuff. Luckily, we have a small store of the stuff available here, and I'm offering a handful of caps to the raiders for every bottle they can bring me. Those greasy villains are handy when you've got the money. Well, it's unfortunate we couldn't meet and talk to this guy. He just immediately started shooting at us. All right, well... Now we know a little bit more about his experiments here. Oh, raiders. I'll take that buff out, and that vodka, and that jet, beer, and rat away. All right. And back out to Jury Street Station. Now we've been in the tunnels, and we have found Ryan Brig and his magical mole rat wonder meat machine. <laughs> Let's take a look at what this bandana looks like and we'll put on the tinted reading glasses. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That might even be a unique item. I don't think I've ever seen that before. It looks like I can repair that with the head wraps. 
Yes, I can. All right, let's use one. Ooh, all right. And what's the difference between the tinted reading glasses and the lucky shades? Well, the lucky shades give me luck. The tinted reading glasses don't seem to do anything, but I do like the way they look. Let's see how my lucky shades look with the bandana. Oh yeah, very cool. All right, I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Fallout 3. And no, it is not the last. There is at least one more thing that I have not explored and found in the wasteland. And so there will be at least one more episode. Take care of yourselves until next time.